Mega Mike the Movie Man. And today I have a Mega Movie Plan. Today I'm back with another Mega Review for you all. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new movie Outfit. Yes, I'm going to go over my general thoughts of the movie. So spoiler free here. No spoilers. I'm just going to go over the good, the bad, and my recommendation on whether you should go out and see this one or not. So stick around to the end of the video for that recommendation. But without further ado, let's get started. I need you to listen carefully. Now to get into the good of the movie. So Outfit is a brand new film that takes place in 1950 Chicago during the winter time all in a tailor shop. Now this movie describes itself as a crime drama, but to me, actually, it's really a mystery suspense thriller of a movie. It's very reminiscent of a classic Hitchcock movie with it looking kind of like a stage play like the movie Rope because it all takes place in that one setting in this tailor shop and to me they do a fantastic job on the set design and the costume design for this movie so it fits perfect with the location and the time period and there's some awesome acting in this movie the two main actors here you got Mark Rylance and Zoe Deutsch and they're both amazing in the movie especially Mark Rylance he does an awesome performance he's the main character he is the tailor but there's a little bit more about him that you find out in the movie but he just does a great job how he speaks it's just so powerful and he does some narration for the movie as well and to me that's just the best parts of the movie there is when he is having a dialogue scene and he's just communicating with other people in the film to me that's all fantastic and it just feels like it's a very kind of intimate type of story because it's just with a small group of characters in one setting and we don't see a lot of that in movies anymore a lot of movies are very globe trotting just going to a bunch of different locations big action set pieces but no this movie gives us something a little different and the mystery suspense elements in this movie are just perfect it kind of keeps you guessing and gets you very intrigued and just when you think it's going one way it turns around and does something different and it changes levels in this movie quite a bit so that's what's going to keep your interest and I think it does it just so well from beginning to end I think this movie just does everything to a really high quality film level so to me just a really well done film Please, I don't want any trouble. Now to get into the bad of the movie. So I don't think there's really any major negative here, but you just kind of have to know what movie you're going into. Like I said, this isn't a big action blockbuster here. So you have to be patient with this film at certain points. There will be some certain scenes that kind of slow down a bit. So it does take you a little bit out of the movie, but then something happens and then it gets you back in. But because it's just in one setting, and it is such a small group of characters, you do really have to pay attention to the movie. It's a very thinking person's movie, but it's very smart, it's very clever, and so if you give it that attention, it is a lot better of an experience, but you do at some points kind of have to wake yourself up a little bit, like, okay, I know this scene is important, let me pick up some clues in here to what's really going on, because then that's gonna create a more satisfying conclusion for the movie, for you personally I think now all the characters are great in this movie but there is one character I do have to mention who is like a mob henchman to me he looks like he's plucked right out of like a cartoon like he's very cartoon looking like when you think of a animated show from back in the day with like a uh, mob crime henchman type of person like literally that's this character in this movie so right when the character shows up just how he looks and how he talks and acts you're like kind of taken out of it just for a little bit because it's like whoa he's just reminding me of a cartoon right now um but it's funny it it works for the movie so he plays his part well, and it's not meant to be silly, but it just kind of takes you back just a little bit <laughs> for a moment. But other than that, like I said, movie is definitely well done. This isn't art. This is a craft. You cannot make something good until you understand the customer. 
now to get into my recommendation of the movie. Now, should you go out to the theaters to see this movie or not? Well, to me, it really depends on the film genres you enjoy. If you're okay with kind of a slower burn film, one that you got to be patient with and one you really got to pay attention to, but you really like the mystery and suspense and thriller elements, I think you're actually going to really enjoy this movie. So to me, if you really enjoyed the Batman movie, I actually think you're going to like this movie because there's some similar elements in there. And so I really enjoyed this movie. To me, it had a lot to it because you had so many different genres mixed together, not just the suspense mystery part, but you got the crime drama part. And also I have to mention this, there's some humor in this movie as well. It's very subtle comedy, but there are a few times you'll laugh or chuckle a little bit, definitely intentionally. And to me, that gives some good levity to the movie. So this movie just has so many elements into it that I think most audience members, of course an adult audience, right, it's not a kid movie, but an adult audience will pick up on some things and they will enjoy the movie overall. So to me, this is the best movie of the month so far. Yes, I prefer this one over The Batman because I think this movie is, for the most part, well paced, even though there are some slower moments during the movie, it's not too long of a movie it's like an hour 45 so it doesn't overstay its welcome it's the perfect runtime for a movie like this it does end up getting to the point with a good satisfying conclusion and so to me this movie just works on all levels there's not really much faults to this movie at all I mean it just does everything so well even just the music in this movie is perfect for the location and time period so it is a really good quality film, really well put together. Now, I don't know how much money they spent on this movie because it was in one setting with, you know, small group of characters. It probably was cheaper to make, but with what they had, they just got the most out of it with really these amazing performances in the movie. This is some of the best acting I've seen in a little while from a movie so just a well put together movie so if you're into any of those genres crime dramas mystery suspense thrillers uh, if you like stage plays you will enjoy this movie and this is a movie i can highly recommend give it a chance go out and see it now i don't think this movie is playing at every theater i know i had to drive a little bit farther to go to a larger theater that was showing this movie so if you only have small theaters by you they might not even be playing this movie but definitely check it out because i'm telling you this is a really good quality movie if you like cinema you're going to like this movie you know exactly what it is that we do well full house tonight huh so that will do it for today's mega review of outfit let me know in the comments below have you seen this movie yet and what did you think of it or if you haven't seen this movie yet did i at least put it on your radar are you interested in this movie now let's have that movie discussion down below also what is your favorite thriller suspense mystery movie of all time leave that in the comments as well also if you're just discovering the channel for the first time make sure you subscribe right now i'm gonna get you tons of movie reviews movie rankings movie news movie haul videos you name it we'll talk all things movies on this channel and i go out and see all the new releases so i can give you the best recommendation for the movies you will most enjoy also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss when i post a video uh, come on do it do it come on come on like the video and this is mega mike the movie man reminding you to make every day a movie day